Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome to another session on the podcast. Today, I have with me Mansa, with whom I will be discussing the recent events in the Nigeria Republic. Welcome to the show, Mansa. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, uh, the pleasure is all mine. So I want you to introduce yourself. Yeah, so my name is Mansa. I am an artist um, born in Niger and raised in Tanzania. I've also lived in Niger um, as well. And yeah, I'm like an African growth trotter. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, move around quite a lot uh, and I make music, of course. And uh, yeah, man, it's, it's an honor to be here, to be a guest on your podcast. All right, thank you. So let's start with you trying to give an overview of the political climate in Niger before this coup. Um, what were the sociocultural, sociopolitical uh, conditions? What were they like before, you know, the incursion of this coup? Um, I would say the perfect definition for it is smoking mirrors. There was a lot of smoking mirrors, you know, there's a lot of things that uh, maybe in the surface seemed really awesome. But when you look um, a little deeper, you see that um, that wasn't the case. Um, so with these guys, what had happened is once they came into power as this political party um, that recently got removed, um, once they came into power, um, there was a, quite a few changes within the country. First of all, um, I would say that the money financially, the money wasn't circulating as much, right? Like economically, there wasn't that cash flow. It felt like only mostly they had money, the people in that party. And apart, and also it felt like they really sold a lot of the country away to other countries, to the Western countries, China, et cetera, et cetera, whether it's obviously the uranium, but there's other things like the, it's a, like, the airport, right, got sold to a Turkish company. That doesn't really make sense. Yes, so now we have like a more improved airport, but it's not an airport that belongs to Nigerians. Um, it belongs to a Turkish, a private Turkish company. And what they did is that they think, I think they doubled or tripled the airport taxes too, making it harder for us to travel within our own country, you know? And that's what I mean by smoking mirrors. So from the outside, it looks like, okay, this is a nice airport, but on the inside, you realize that that wasn't that's not necessarily a smart move to make. And apart from that, they also um, they would arrest quite a lot. There was a lot of tension. There was a lot of tension, and they would arrest quite a lot of people from the opposition for um, saying anything, you know, uh, opposing them would get arrested. Um, so yeah, those were those were those were the things that were happening. Uh, yeah, I hope. That gives you an image on, you know. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. All right, so yeah. I've I've read some reports that Nigerians overwhelmingly are in support of this coup. Um, now, I don't want to trust those reports necessarily because whenever you have a military junta, they control the media, they control whatever it is that is being published out there. And so I don't necessarily want to trust those reports. Now, but from your own perspective, do you think Nigerians are in support of this coup? 